everything we've done has been right. This administration also puts forward a false choice between the liberties we cherish and the security we provide. I will provide our intelligence and law enforcement agencies with the tools they need to track and take out the terrorists without undermining our Constitution and our freedom. That means no more illegal wiretapping of American citizens. No more national security letters to spy on citizens who are not suspected of a crime. No more tracking citizens who do nothing more than protest a misguided war. No more ignoring the law when it is inconvenient. That is not who we are. And it's not what is necessary to defeat the terrorists. The FISA court works. The separation of powers works. Our Constitution works. We will again set an example for the world that the law is not subject to the whims of stubborn rulers and that justice is not arbitrary. This administration acts like violating civil liberties is the way to enhance our security. It is not. There are no shortcuts to protecting America. But I think it's important to re recognize that uh, you can't have 100% security and also then have 100% privacy and zero inconvenience. Uh, you know, they, they, we're, we're going to have to make some choices uh, as a society. If this were a dictatorship, it'd be a heck of a lot easier. <laughs> just so long as I'm the dictator. <laughs> I, don't, I don't welcome leaks uh, because uh, there's a reason why these programs are classified. Um, you know, I think, I think that there is a, a suggestion that somehow uh, any classified program is uh, a quote-unquote secret program, which means it's somehow suspicious, but the fact of the matter is, in our modern history, there are a whole range of programs that have been classified because when it comes to, for example, fighting terror, uh, our goal is to stop folks from doing us harm, and if every step that we're taking to try to prevent a terrorist act uh, is on the front page of the newspapers or on television, then presumably the people who are trying to do us harm uh, are going to be able to get around our preventive measures. We also have federal judges that we put in place who are not subject to political pressure. They've got lifetime tenure as federal judges, and they're empowered to look over our shoulder. Uh, at the executive branch to make sure that uh, these programs aren't being abused. And if people can't trust not only the executive branch, but also don't trust Congress and don't trust uh, federal judges to make sure that we're abiding by the Constitution, due process, and rule of law, then we're going to have some problems here. The people who are involved in America's national security, they take this work very seriously. They cherish our Constitution. The last thing they'd be doing is taking programs like this to listen to somebody's phone calls. Uh, and in the abstract, you can complain about Big Brother and how this is uh, uh, a potential uh, you know, you know, program run amok. But when you actually look at the details, then I think we've struck the right balance. Visit InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. When you're on the site, you can also tune in 24 hours a day to my daily radio broadcast. There's also a free iPhone app to listen to the syndicated radio show when and where you want.